Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. And uh, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad that you have found me. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. It's lovely to see you. So today I wanted to have a little chat uh, following on from my uh, morning routine video uh, where we talked, where we kind of saw what my morning um, is like a little bit. Um, uh, mainly full of craziness um, <laughs> and we talked we talked about uh, while I was doing the laundry we were talking about unit studies and how our home education as a family has changed drastically in the last uh, few weeks um, and how uh, you know even from when I was doing the when I did the curriculum choices video it's changed drastically I you know we were kind of humming and hurrying about becoming unit study home education uh, home educationers I can't say home educators today every time I go and say I say home educationers I'm like that's not a word. <laughs> Making me look good. I think I uh, need my lunch. I think that's the problem. So, um, as I said, uh, we've been talking, um, we've been doing a unit study about oceanography and um, my my daughter, Bessie, just, uh, I said, what do you want to learn about? And it was kind of, we were having actually a bit of a disagreement and I was like, what do you want to learn about? Tell me. And she was like, oceans. And I was like, okay. So we went on to, as I said in last video, we went on to Teach Simple, uh, which I had kind of accidentally found. I think it was a Facebook ad that I'd seen it. I um, have included the link on the description. I feel like that's a catchphrase. Um, and I found Simply School Girl. Again, I have linked um, linked Simply School Girl in the description box. Um, I'm not working with her. Uh, I just absolutely love her content. So um, we decided to do oceanography. And I just wanted to show you um, a little bit from the unit study. This has got dust. And then the other resources that we are using. So this, this, this is literally it. This is our um, oceanography unit study resources. Not including um, Blue Planet 2 on BBC iPlayer and the um, Nigel Marvin's Walking with Dinosaur Sea Monsters on Prime Video uh, that I bought. I think it's like 160, maybe 150 um, per episode and there's three. So I just was like, bing, bing, bing and we're going to be watching those. So um, I have included the links of these things in the description box below. They're not affiliate links or anything like that. I don't get anything if you buy them. Um, just thought you might like them. So this is the puzzle that we got. Um, this it originally comes from Osborne, so maybe um, if you know an Osborne seller, maybe get it from them so they get a little bit of money rather than getting it from Amazon. My children have opened the bag and loads of pieces just threw out. I'm not having a good day. Uh, so here we are, here are the tiny pieces. I just, not only did I throw them, not only did they fall out of the bag, my cat is sat right next to me, one of my cats is sat right next to me. They just all landed on her. Uh, she's like, she is purring still. Sorry, Jasmine, I didn't mean to shower you with jigsaw puzzle pieces. One sec, let me pick those up. I picked those up. Um, so that's the puzzle, holding it up the right way. And it also comes with this very cute little book. It's not very thick, it's only 16 pages long, um, but it has some really lovely artwork in it and it's educational. So, you know, what more do you want? So that's that. I am gonna sit down with them, I think, this afternoon and uh, do the puzzle with them, and actually, actually do the puzzle with them. Um, because I found that if I am facilitating these things, it works better than if I just go, go and do that. Um, in, the out, in, my, in the Out School to UK channel recently, um, I just did a video about Montessori education. Um, it might not be up yet. It might be by the time when this goes up, it might not be up yet, but we'll see. Check it out. There's a Montessori video. Um, and one of the things that it said on there was about self-directed learning. And um, it's not something that my children are very good at. They don't like it. Maybe they just don't like it. I don't know. Uh, so self-directed learning doesn't happen hugely here just because none of us are a fan of it. We like learning together, makes us happy. So the other resources, I'll show you the units in a minute, but the other resources I got was the Blue Planet 2, a company book that goes with the, um, goes with the show. Uh, Blue, Blue Planet 2 is a um, eight series um, thing. And it's got, this book is really cool. I'll show you some of the pages. Can you see it? There we go. What's that? That's stories from the Green Seas. So it's like, there's loads and loads of different, um, again, the artwork is really nice. Um, it's lovely. So uh, yes, it's it kind of it's uh, so it's all like based on stories 
from the series and um, we are on episode two now we're just finishing up episode two and we've got 15 minutes left uh, so we're just slowly chugging through it and watching it together so we'll be reading this too and finally the other thing that I got was this ocean uh, children's encyclopedia I thought the turtle on the front was really cute <laughs> um, it was it's a pretty it's a pretty decent price I think I probably spent on those three books um, I think the, this was about eight pounds. I think the, the jigsaw puzzle was about nine pounds, and maybe this was about twelve, thirteen pounds, something like that, all from Amazon. Um, so not not bad. Maybe twenty five pounds in total I spent ish. Um, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but that, you can see the contents page there. There's just absolutely loads of stuff, um, and it's all this. Unlike the other books, there this is all real pictures of. Um, sea creatures so look there's toothed whales and dolphins it's real photographs not um, artwork so they can really see there's a sea otter look look at them they're so cute i love sea otters i love the way they hold their babies and the way they hold hands i think it's adorable <laughs> but uh yeah so it's not even uh, just about uh, animals it's you know there's atolls and lagoons there um tides waves Beaches, dunes, and spits, estuaries, and mud flats. Penguins! Who doesn't love penguins? Look at them. So chilly. So, there we go. That's my other thing. So, let's get on to the actual unit study I wanted to show you. So, here it is. Um, I've done it in two separate things here, and it all makes sense. So, the actual, this is at my folder. This is my file. Um, as you see, it says Earth Science, Oceanography, Articles, Activities, and Worksheets for your Earth Science Unit Study. And it says Mauer on the front. That's me. So I uh, printed off the things that I didn't need to print. I didn't do um, three separate folders for each child. Well, I did, but not all of the pieces of paper. Uh, each unit study has maybe 150, 170 pieces of paper. And um, I didn't want, and not all of them can be double-sided, so I can't even half that. Like some of them are cutting activities, so I can't make them all double-sided. So to make it easier, I printed off the stuff that everyone was gonna have, that they weren't gonna be drawing on, they're just gonna be looking at, and I turned it into a folder just for me, my teaching folder. So some of the things, that are in here I'll just show you so the first thing which is super helpful is making a plan to study earth science and it points the arrow where you are but these are all of the other unit studies that this simply school girl lovely person has so you've got lithosphere which is study of the land on earth atmosphere a study of the air on earth hydrosphere study of water on earth and biosphere study of living things on earth so it goes through all of those um, we're on ocean, we've decided to start on oceanography, we're going to do the whole of the hydrosphere uh, before moving on to something else um, and I think that we're just going to be, we might, um, we're going to be doing oceanography then we're going to be learning, as I said in last week's video, um, about, um, we're going to be, what did I say we're going to be learning about? <laughs> we're going to be learning about some <clears throat> specific marine animals, then we're going to learn about tsunamis and hurricanes or the water cycle and then tsunamis and hurricanes, um, I think, we might not, who knows, we might do something else but um, it, so it has, um, some ideas of ways you can, um, what do you call it, supplement the unit study. And then it has these, which are um, some words and then descriptions. So it's kind of like a dictionary, um, a map of all of the oceans, different types of oceanography, food chains, um, animals that live in the ocean. So this talks about like different types of, uh, like different cat categorizations of animals. That uh, talks about the properties of seawater, tides, waves, ocean zones, um, ocean floors. And then you've got some reading materials. They also have early readers. So that's kind of an adult, uh, like one for the adults to read. And there's also an early reader there. Um, it's a bit more condensed and then there's a quiz at the end so you can quiz your child to see uh, they call it the a review game so you can quiz your child to see how much they remember um you don't have to do all of them you don't have to use it at all if you don't want to um, i will be using it because um i just want to see see how well they're doing so that's the folders there so then these are the activities i've printed out so this is the one that's child so we have to see what he's done so far um <clears throat> we have done other things uh, but just this is what he's done so far in this booklet so this was labeling the oceans and you can see um, he's done them there and um, next on the, in this booklet we'll be moving on to rubber ducks on the ocean and um, talking about currents 
and then we've got um crafting so this is going to be um all the different zones of the sea and then putting the animals in the right zone and it will have this be this massive craft project that he'll be able to hang on the wall and those are the animals that we're gonna he's gonna cut out so um and then there's kind of some review areas there's some writing activities that he can choose to do one of and then there's um like a review where it says ocean animals draw and write about what you've learned um so <clears throat> very very varied you don't have to do it all you can do it all this isn't even all of it there's loads more in the actual booklet there's a whole, to whole topic on seashells there's memory match games all of that sort of stuff um that's not for us we just wanted it to be i wanted it to be small to hold their education hold their education gosh what's wrong with me today hold their um concentration imagination <laughs> I don't know attention that's the word hold on to their attention um and and not be not be too much uh, so that's what we're we're doing um uh, as I said we're watching Blue Planet 2 we're watching Nigel Marvin's Sea Monsters um we will be going to the Oceanarium at the end we are also let me whip it out down here that did not sound right. I did not mean it in that way at all. We're doing, have you, have anyone heard of paw print badges? Um, we are doing a paw print badge, the World Ocean Day Challenge. Uh, the World Ocean Day is actually in June. <laughs> so we're a few months late or a few months early, however you want to put it. Uh, my children are in the five to seven and seven to 11 phrase um, area. So um, Albert will be doing one of each category and Bessie and Charles will be doing one of each category and then picking another one from whatever category they like. Um, so you've got craft, You've got food, games, and other. And um, then once they have completed that, uh, they will. I will order them their badge, and I'm going to get them um, a blanket each, uh, so 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 we can sew them on. Or probably, then we might just hot glue them on. To be fair, because it's just too. Um, or I might like hot glue them onto card or something like that. I don't know we will see but yes to supplement the unit study we will be doing things from here as well so charles has chosen to do a build your own layered ocean in a jar for craft albert's chosen to gather shells at the beach and make his own jewelry and bessie has um decided to paint some um, paint some stones that look like they are um, like ocean themed stones and food Bessie wants to do create an ocean layered jelly a layered ocean seed and layered, la layered ocean jelly um, Albert wants to make sweet sushi Charles wants to make his own starfish shaped crispy cakes Bessie wants to do edible sea glass my cat's trying to send emails will you stop it and Charles wants to make an octo pizza, which is an octopus in the shape of a pizza. No, no, not an octopus in the shape of a pizza. A pizza in the shape of an octopus. Brain has left the building. Um, then games. Charles wants to um, play a game of high or low or big or smaller using creatures that live in the oceans. And Albert and Bessie want to do a treasure hunt. Then other, Charles wants to discover an ocean species that's new to him and then share his findings with someone else. Bessie wants to visit an aquarium, which we were going to do anyway, so I'm like, that's fine. And Albert wants to watch an episode of David Attenborough's Blue Planet, which we were doing anyway as well, so that's all good. Uh, so that is our unit study, our oceanography unit study. We have um, got lots of different, lots of different bits from lots of different places, and for the first time ever, I haven't used Twinkle for any of it which never happens. I always used to wake up for something. So I'm really excited to share those bits with you. All of the links are in the description if you want to try them. I don't get any, none of these are partnership deals or affiliate links or anything like that. So um, they're just me sharing them with you because I thought you might like them too. Thank you so much uh, for joining me here at Adventure All The Way. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we're doing really, really well. And when we hit 2000, I'm going to do a whopper of a giveaway, like super cool. Um, I've got a few ideas of what it could be, uh, but we will we will see. We will see. Um, we've got lots of things going on um, personally at the moment. Still, I know I talked about. I have talked about it. I don't think I actually ended up uploading the video, um, but um, uh, starting um, next next video so i'm trying to do two videos a week again trying to get back into that because i'm filming twice a week for out school i'm kind of in a filming mood and i'm just filming them all on the same day editing them all on the same day the ones for that channel and the ones for this channel um although i'm only getting paid for them <laughs> but, um just like while i'm in the mood i'm just doing it all 
all of the filming and then all of the editing in one day and uploading them all on the same day so um it just ends up being easier uh, so but we're going to be starting talking about the holidays um we celebrate we, we we celebrate Yule and but I often say Yulemas because Santa does come on Christmas Day uh, or Christmas Eve. So uh, we say Yulemas because we kind of celebrate kind of ce we definitely celebrate Yule and we kind of celebrate Christmas. So we're going to be all it'll be all things Yulemasy, Christmassy, Yule tidy um, coming uh, starting next week. Um, we'll be talking starting to talk about what we're going to be doing for Christmas and um, sharing our different activities that we're doing and having fun. Um, uh yeah i want to get all these things these, these super fun things done and um then hopefully we will have some brand new videos in the new year to share with you um that i will be filming but i won't be releasing until the new year uh, so hopefully they will be uh, hopefully everything everything will be okay and i'll release those um it will be very exciting so um i'm really looking forward to seeing you next time thank you so much don't forget to like give me a comment and can connect with me on other social media as well i love to hear from you Take care, bye.